1886 and 1886. We got some pearls. Can't tell if it says 14 karat or 925. It's looking like silver. Like this looks like she might have collected Native American. Do we get a little jackpot here? <laughs> Did we find a coin collection? I sold these 150 processors for 700 bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. It is I, your captain, speaking here, and we are here on a Monday. It is kind of a, no one say beautiful, but it is a day. No, no uh, loads to sell. We gotta buy storage units. Gotta go meet some people who made sales on my eBay for local pickup and also my auction, as well as scrap a few pieces of gold. But more importantly, we're gonna go picking. Stockton Flea Market Monday. We're gonna go see if there's anything good, see if we can turn a dollar into 50, wait, no. Try to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Let's do it. And just like that, we've made it to the market. Let's go see if we can find some money. Looks a little dead. To be expected for this type of market on a Monday. We're usually the biggest show on earth here. So we're not here today, but we will see what's going on here. Frank, good morning. How are you doing? That's not a good sign when somebody says, Good luck first thing in the morning. That's like a sign of potential bad. We'll get a Picasso. What do you guys think? Is that a million dollar piece? It is very cold today. So weird. It looks like a whole bunch of just junk out here. We got clothes. Somebody spilled their in and out. Mm, these are all big. All right. US 5, 6. We're going to get those for Jess. Sir, good morning. How much are these? Uh, four bucks. Four bucks. How are you doing today? No, just chilling. Just come out here to walk around for a minute. That's right. All right, thank you, Chief. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, we bought a pair of sandals. Jess will definitely like those. All right, so quick little intermission. We had to sell some gold. We keep that off the record. My gold guy doesn't like being on the record, and I don't blame him. Keep your secrets. Good morning, sir. What are you doing? Chilling, man. Chilling. Yeah? What are you parking today? Uh, I'm just walking around today. No selling. You're selling Thursday? Yeah, just coming around. See you guys later. I've successfully seen it. There's nothing here, but what? You got anything for sale? Uh, I have a collection I've been trying to sell to a few people. What do you have? Uh, it's just a large collection of, of somebody. It's somebody's whole Pokemon collection. I, I got to get a minimum of 3500 I was trying to get five because there's a really about $10,000 and stuff. It's not just cards, but it's also toys. I could send you, I, I got a, a couple clips on, if you go look on my Instagram, there's a post that walked like a three minute, a three minute walk through there. Uh, just type in storage auction pirate. I keep scrolling right there. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, this was me just basically laying it all out on a table and trying to get a, a little like tour for everybody to ladies. I was collecting pre-2005, I think. She went into storage, left it there for a long time. He pointed out that the lady was uh, had an eye and she seemed to collect a lot of swirl hollows. Like the dark Charizard that I have as a swirl. All right, yeah, let me know if you're available, I'll be home. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty sweet, we get an opportunity to push the product um, thanks to David there if you guys remember him from my video recently but the beauty is we might have an out potential sale of the Pokemon just by coming out here and we'll see what transpires well we've made it back home had a customer come look at the Pokemon right here somebody I met in the flea market down there they once again tried to convince me to sell just a few things let me show you they wanted me to sell them literally just this one box that has the absolute best cards in it well, some of the best because a lot of people don't do Japanese. And they try to convince me to sell it to them. I wasn't doing it. I told them before they come over. I'm not breaking it up. I'm not selling piece by piece. I'm not selling just... I appreciate you, guy, for coming over and looking. I appreciate the person who sent him my way. But I don't want to break them up. If I want to break them up, I got a million people want to buy just the best card. And then I would already have a precedence on when their offer should come in, right? So we may break this up. We may not. It may already have been broken up by the time it's time to break it up. But what we have to do is we gotta pack 52 items on eBay. We did a huge blowout of our inventory. We're down to 33 active items, only because those are computer lots, which I might have to let, uh, might get extracted out of my life science 
soon too, just the same, because we are in a cleansing mode. So we are here, going through all of our items right here. Gotta pull them off the shelves, gotta pull them out, get them packed. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of what we sold. Well, let's start here on this Vanity Fair book by Easton Press, right? Now that was, on a buy it now, that would have been a $50, $60 sale. I had it listed for a little more, waiting for the best offer. That's the lesson learned here in eBay, taking auctions versus buy it now. I have emphasized this, it was my risk because I was just doing it for a special fun, right? I, in retrospect, I wish I would only done a handful of items and let them go in five minute intervals because we held a live and it was too much chaos for the, the one minute closings. But it's also, books are the one of the last things you wanna auction off. That sold for $22.65. Here we have that beautiful radio that came out of that $4,000 after expenses storage unit. Unbelievable, it sold for 98 cents because it was in working condition. I, I showed the tubes and stuff, it is what it is. That right here is a beautiful vintage gown. I had this up for 150. We auctioned it in flawless shape. I realized I made a mistake and I called it purple. It's clearly yellow. Only sold for 37 freaking dollars. Beautiful Sakujan jacket. Um, I call them Bruce Lee jackets just because it reminds me of him. Remember him watch it wearing these like uh, mafia style looking jackets in my eyes back then. But I sold that in this set of Piers. Okay, Piers 49. Original Humphrey Bogart painting and these two signed prints. That only went for a sold listing of 93 bucks. I remember turning down 100 on this art from Spencer back in the day. And this one, this one right here broke my heart. Why did it break my heart? because I'm too frugal to keep that. I wanted to keep that, but in my eyes, that was a $200 sale. I'm really shocked. Brand new 1990s, extra large, thick Columbia jacket. It sold for $41. That one I regret because I probably should have kept that for myself instead of being so frugal. And then we have this piece right here. I picked this at the flea market with Alex. I think I spent like 30 something dollars roughly on this piece. It is a William Spratling dragon head. It sold for $345 in auction. It reminds you again, auctions are always gonna be less value than a buy it now. Then this piece right here, I already packed this up, but this was the 85 Star Wars figures. That was a pretty cool sale right there. I took less than I should have because I could have um, got a $2,000 and I think a $2,200 offer in my auction and my buy it now price but it did sell for two thousand one dollars that's not bad that was uh i only lost a few hundred on a best offer and if i would have held out in a buy it now i would have got more i probably would have closed off at three grand i'm gonna pack these up and then we'll show you some more items all right we got the next course of things laid out up here first is this another sakujan sakajan jacket i'm not pronouncing that right this one's pretty cool military style that came out of a locker recently and this knife right here which again auctions are horrible versus buy it now is that sold for 92 dollars and yes i did sell this storage auction pirate sweater just figured i'd throw that out there who remembers this bad boy and such videos as pickers warehouse came to my storage and pickers warehouse wanted to buy that and i offered it to him for 100 because we, we we comped it at a 200 dollars sale and let's see if either one of us were right in an auction 134 i will say i turned down 175 in a best offer on eBay. We sold another one of these books for $26. Great expectations. I believe the same person bought the same book. Shout out to you guys. I appreciate that. We got this comic here that sold for $12. That's pretty tight. First edition of Dungeons and Dragons. And then we also sold this mask right here for one dollar yes we are selling them i got them up for uh i think i have it for two i took a one dollar off we got a bet a fantastic four this sold for 147.50 here we got this one sold for 102.50 that was pretty tight one there i think spider-man who doesn't love spider-man i love spider-man that sold for 51 thor sold for 74 i thought that would do more as well this sold for 51 right here and this last comic of this lot here, this one sold for $84.77. These right here are a couple more disappointing sales. This I was very disappointed in. A, I should have put them individually, this by itself, maybe this by itself. All these listed at like 10, 20 bucks a piece, but there were some cool pieces, but I think this only sold for under like seven bucks right here. And I'm really kind of shocked about that. Somebody got a heck of a deal because that was probably a $20 photo postcard there. This jacket shocked me, I guess. It sold for like 20 something dollars, but I could have got that at the flea market. And 
It made this one even more disappointing, this brand new Columbia raincoat. I probably should have kept that myself, a large vintage from the 90s, only got like seven bucks, kind of a huge disappointment. And this one went for $12.50. Could have done more on this Sakujan jacket, but it is what it is. This was a shocker right here. As you can see, that sold for $318. This one I think sold for $98. That statue shocked me only uh, $19. Sold that for a buck. The bag for a buck. Like I said, there's a lot of things that we shouldn't have put to auction, but it is what it is. This autograph book, that went for 12 bucks. Very rare little paintings in here. Check this out. Let me show you one. Let's go here. Hold on. Hold on. 1886 and... 1886 things like that that was a kind of a shocker this game got 51 so i can't be mad about that hack outbreak believe it or not that series by hack very good bolos items so always look for hack video games when you're out there these didn't do what i want them to do but they at least did something i got 292 for these shout out to whoever bought these um i think they're really nice you did a really good job because i think this one is worth far more than what you paid for both that's pretty tight. This one is well, Lundberg. Very, very, very pricey brand. $2.92. Gonna send those out. Some more items that did okay. These ones weren't bad, but this one I think could have did more. It was a Mikola, a Mikola Czech game used jersey. I got $405 on that. And this one really went low. I think my ad was not right or something. It's kind of odd because it's authentic. You can see right here, game used. And most importantly, it's signed by him. I really thought that was a $1,000 sale, but I feel like that ad uh, might have had like an error. Like I might have had something off to detour the bidding. I'm, it's very weird. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Look at all these packages. Oh my goodness, we got our FedExes. We got our priorities. Ooh, multiple boxes and everything. And then our UPS. That was significantly a lot of work. Here we are, it's the next morning. And we gotta go to the post office. Sales were good this week. We got the post office, we got FedEx, and we got UPS. I'm gonna do all of them. And just like that, my whole car is full. Boom, 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 everywhere you look, all the back seat. Thank God for this little uh, hybrid mail runner. These, we bought this for 430 plus expenses. We're looking at like 480. Let's see what we got in here. Less stuff than I thought. It seemed bigger in the video or the photo. First glance, you see clean stuff. I like the furniture. I'm not really into selling furniture, but I thought maybe Scoggin or something like that, a decent brand, or otherwise it's Ikea. But you got one tote, a basket, and it looks like one box, two box, three box, four boxes of furniture. It was a high risk, but I figured this looks like somebody's little one bedroom apartment, and maybe there's some really good stuff inside of there. That looked jewelry-ish, and I didn't even notice, but there's actually some in there. Let's get to it, let's see what we got. Ralph Lauren bedding. No, that is not Ralph Lauren. It is Laura Ashley. That's not what I thought either. It smells minty in here. It smells minty. Ah, that almost got me. Wow. Nice little jar. Start off here. What kind of shoes? Oh, a new look. Kind of small. Almost Jess's size. She's a little one. New look, size five. That's a little too small. Okay. Come on, good clothes. We got Mossimo. We got a sh blouse, a work blouse. Lulu's, Lulu's, that's not, doesn't sound too expensive. Come on, be some expensive shirt, shirts, be some expensive purses, something. No problem, no problems, no boyfriend, no boyfriend, no problems. Nope, we're not giving that to the little woman. Wait, is that nice? Wait a minute. Okay, so we got some clothes. This is a nice little jacket. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Looks like this is just clothes. So, yeah, that's kind of cute. I could see her liking that California Golden Bears. All right, there's at least 30 bucks in clothes there with these shoes. Add another, what would you say? What would you sell this basket for? Comment below. I'm going to think that's a good $10 basket. So, we take that and we get $10 for that. Hmm. The second time I found one of these and nothing was in them. And then another one of those too. Jump and Jehoshaphat, is that gold? I don't know. I'll have to have my guy test it. That is very costumey. Bummer. We still have it tested. We got some pearls. Okay. And then we got Sai. Hi Sai. 
And a couple of cute little headband hair thingy, thingy thingies. Mm-hmm, okay. There's some potential there. That's a nice piece of furniture. Somebody ripped it open looking for something like that. Huh? Belkin, okay. It's a check. What was they looking for in here? They must have known what they was looking for. What is that? And how did it get in there? Hmm. All right, we created some type of flashlight system here. Ibuprofen. I'll probably keep that because who doesn't like ibuprofen? Okay. Smile. Are you Ray-Bans? No, not Ray-Bans. Clear through Sephora gift certificate. No, scent certificate. For her. Yeah, that was a little bit of clickbait, I guess. Good friends are like stars. You can't always see them, but you know they are there. All right, I like that. Shout out to my good friends. And let's see. Can't tell what it says. Can't tell if it says 14 karat or 925. It's looking like silver. Yeah, it's a nice little silver, silver chain. Italy, 925, it's blinging now. It is blinging, let's see. I was gonna try to put it on, but it's got a missing, a missing clip here. See how it's kind of, you'd have to go like this and piece it together. But I mean, that's better. That's a good 60, 70 grams of silver right there, which is a good 60 or $70 back. So right off the bat, that's, that's nice. Looks like we can uh, make some muffins, right? Who doesn't like muffins? Pots and pans are always a hot seller at the flea market. They're boring, but you think about the money aspect. Like the idea is to make money. Uh, I plan if even if I can get a little bit of profit off this, that's gonna be good, unless I get a jackpot. But these are things that add up. Like this little box of dishes is a good 25, 30 bucks. I was almost gonna say 20, but there's two pans in there, three pans. So we got some, that pan there, and this one here. But they're quality, look at that, clean. So I'm thinking that I got a minimum 30 bucks in stuff. Even stuff like this, that's a quarter at the flea market. But look what was inside of there. A Steph Curry. I actually wonder if Jess would like that. Size medium, Steph Curry. And a teapot. Oops, that's not a teapot. Right there, that's, a, that's an easy, we're almost, I'd say, what would you guys say? I'm, I'm gonna speculate now with things where we're at. All this whole box, 40 bucks. All right, four more boxes plus that one. Let's see here. So these four chairs, I don't think there's something special. I think they're Ikea, right? But one, two, three, four, what do you guys think? And I'm thinking that is 50 bucks minimum. Let me double check here in a little bit, but you have to add that up. You got 50 and believe it or not, I could sell that pillow. It's boring, but it is sellable. So we're looking at uh, still 50 bucks. I'm saying 25 bucks on this piece right here. It's nothing. I'm actually, I don't even know if I can get that. It's really cheaply made. Here we got a Vizio TV and it's a cheaper one. Again, this is, this person you could tell was kind of into saving money. They probably made money and kept it. That's what I'm thinking. They didn't, they weren't like, they wanted nice stuff, but but cheap, right? Still got to see what this bed frame is. Definitely think my the bed is going to get me over a hundred bucks. Very nice, very quality, low footboard. Nice quality mattress, but uh, what do we got here? One rug. Okay, that's a little five by seven, maybe. Yeah, five by five by seven or five by nine. That's fifteen bucks all day long, and it's quality shape there. Rugs are something people like to get deals on because in the store they charge you an arm and a leg, but if you can get a slightly used one, very good shape actually. What is that? They might have had a cat or something. Don't know if I like that. This doesn't smell like cat pee though. Maybe they spilled a lot. Just got a dining table here. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna take this up to 100 bucks. 100 bucks with the dining table. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, she was into frugal furniture. That's the best way I could put it. I don't even know what that, you worried about that falling over your shoe rack? <laughs> to the wall? Okay. Looking like we splurged and we got a marble top. I don't know if that's from Ikea, but uh, like I'm not really worried about top dollar on this. It was really cause it's hard to buy stuff right now. The prices are through the roof basically for all these storage units. So it was reasonably priced and clean. So I had to have it. Anyway, let's get through. We've got another, I'd say 30 bucks on those stools and a good $20 on this coffee table probably. Uh, 15 maybe, it's got a big scratch right there. So now we're looking at 30, 45, 85, 110, 115, 
120 with the contents, 130, 140, don't know what's in there, 160, 170, maybe 270 for 100 with the table set. Now we're at 300 with that. Yeah, we'll call that with the pillows there. 300, 400. 400 with the bed, add that in there. We're almost even, and we got five boxes to go through. That's the way I'm looking at this right now. Wah, 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 dishes. Not a big set, and they're just really loosely wrapped. It's not like I even did anything to cause that issue. There. Oh, joy. What's underneath? Wine glasses and purple cups. The purple cups are kind of cool. Very loosely packed, and it's looking like it's all cups under there. Yeah, the rest of the Gibson set. But that's cool because the Gibson set and those little other cups, I'm looking at $20 in dishes there. Oh, joy. Joy of the world. We got cooking stuff. Smells like tea. Really clean. Really, really. Yeah. That's a nice little made in Indonesia. Cool little wood, piece of wood stuff. I wonder if the... The missus wants that. Jess, do you want that? Comment below, please. My credo is that I buy storage units. Another C. This reminds me exactly of that last little unit I bought. Same little life. A little well taken care of. These are kind of nice, though. Are these Ikea? Because, see the swirl mark in the middle? Those look a little more handmade than the average ones. They're very quality. This doesn't look like... This looks like she might have collected... Native American. Do we get a little jackpot here? Do we find the one thing she liked? Because look at this one. I don't know. These look pretty nice. What do you guys think? I'm thinking that that's a little, a little bit of something. That's my first jackpot in this unit, I think. Um, these look very Ikea in. Just cool little decoration. And there's two of them. So, this one's a, a, a dung beetle. No, it's Madonna. No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, now, you can always tell a lot by a person. By the knives they use. I'm just kidding. By the books they read. Outlander novel. Ooh, they like to love. Strike for America. Chicago Teachers Against Austerity. So they were a teacher. All right. On care for your common home. Okay. Then we got... Utensils, those are not really worth a whole lot, dollar a piece, two dollars a piece. We got My Son, It's a Long Story, Reflection of Genocide and Perpetu Perpetrators, The Elegance of the Hedgehog. Very unique books, very teacherish sounding. What else do we got here? We got, okay, whatever that's about, a cookbook. Uh -huh. Yep, definitely about the, look at that, Fifty Shades of Grey. And that is a wrap on this box. So, there's a, a couple bucks here. This one says school right here. But this isn't very schoolish, is it? Unless you had a cooking school. One pot, two pot, three pot, four. Five pot, six pot, seven pot, hit the floor. Eight pot, nine pot, ten pot more. Dang. I guess I can become a pot farmer. No? Here we go, that's kind of misguided. That's kind of cute actually, and I wonder if I, it's kind of the wrong season, but I can almost dibs that for Anaya. I feel like that's something she might, she might wear. We got uh, an Olsen, Matt Olsen, 2018 Golden Globe winner. Almost something. What is this? What is this? I thought that was uh, Vera Wayne, not Vera Wayne, what is it, Vera Bradley? I thought that was a Vera Bradley. Would have been nice if it was jam-packed full of jewelry. <laughs> Did we find a coin collection? No, we found about 42 cents in change. That's still cool though, it adds up. It adds up. We got paperwork and receipts, personal stuff. Okay, I haven't made approximately no profit yet, yet on this, but sometimes all the walls fall down. Jenga. A little water bottle. 36 greeting cards. That's kind of cute. You are amazing. You are amazing. They're all amazing. Oh, brilliant. 
You are one. I dedicate this card to every one of you watching this video right now. You are wonderful. I appreciate you. Oh, what else do we have in here? Let's go. Come on. Paper. It's all person's paper. Let's go. Okay. Um, it looks like my coin collection club, Cal Alumni Association. So she was an accounting clerk at California Berkeley. I never bought an accounting clerk. That explains why she likes spending money because she spends all the time accounting for others' money. So I don't blame her. By anthropology, this is a, this storging is brought to you by the letter D. It's an older Lenovo. Well, that's still cool. That's probably 60, 80 bucks maybe. Maybe have some Bitcoin on it. That will go aside here. We'll keep that for a later rainy day, probably at some level. Oh, that explains this. We've got power. Woo! Maybe we can get a few bucks out of that and make some profits. This is like a graduation thing or something. And that's a wrap to that ball, okay? MB, MBA alumni, St. Mary's College. All right, so that box is done. Last this but not least this, but most importantly is this box. Actually, we have one more after this. Live. We got instructions. We've got alumni for St. Mary's College. That's a pretty nice backpack, actually. It is two things. It is Cal Berkeley and it is Under Armour. I actually have two buyers for that. And that is an umbrella. Oh, look at those. Those are cute. Oh, wow, they're size six, too. I wonder if Jess would like those. I'm gonna save them for her. Actually, I'm gonna take a photo of them, comment below, and you guys tell me if you think she'll wear those yes or no. Okay. It's hammer time. High potential program. Um, it's looking like, looking like this is a clothes box. Lands and that's kind of a cute, a cute little sweater. Or jacket, I should say. We're gonna set this off over here for a moment. We're trying to find that dare to, mm -hmm. dare to make money, that dare to make money moment. Cal Gold. That's kind of cute. This is literally just clothes. So we have, these are kind of neat. Actually, that's a good $10, $15 piece right there. And then here we have this piece right here. That's maybe $20 to be honest with you. That's kind of a cool piece. I would set those aside for Alameda with my other two cool pieces there. And it looks like we have a third piece. I would save that as well. Not quite my style though. Almost fit, it fits me though. Very colorful. Oh, it smells like them. Nice though, different. How much it dibs this right here. There was one more dress too as well. That right there is easily a $20 dress. So what I'll do is I'll set, that's a my Alameda pile right there. All right, guys, it's the last box. This is the last box. Come on. Please, Pirate needs a new pair of shoes. Well, open my mouth too soon. That is kind of cute, though. Nice little yoga mat. If you do yoga, we do yoga. We did get some shoes. Those are kind of cute. I'm not even going to offer her these ones. I'm not going to do that to myself. But what we should do is check for stuff in there. Look at this. We got purses. Very cheap, though. Very cheap and inexpensive. I don't even think they have brand names on them, to be honest with you. Come on, B. It says BCBG. Okay, that one does have a brand name. The other one didn't. And we got more, another coin collection here. Ooh. We're almost in the profit. Please be some jewelry. Wow. Did you know you're frugal when you're only making one freaking... Oh. That's kind of tight. I actually almost like that. Um, I don't know what, what you'd use it for to have a see-through backpack on campus, I guess. And there's clothes in here. Ooh, no, nope, not just clothes. Nice little hoodie. Should set that aside for the girls. So looking like some dishes, possibly. We did get this cool little Roku for a Roku TV because her TV was a little older, it looks like, than the average TV. She was definitely not into name brands. I appreciate that about her. Um, you figure she was saving her money, so she should have paid her bill, but maybe she just walked away. Maybe she was done. That's what a lot of people to do, too. Uh, if you, you don't have to spend as much if you just start over and your stuff was inexpensive to begin with, right? Very many different strategies to life. I don't see anything coming out of here that I need to show you all. 
it's just looking like some boring clothes. And I mean, yeah. What do we got here? One last jacket. Wow. And like I say, nothing adventured, nothing gained. You cannot hit a home run if you don't swing the bat. We swung the bat. I didn't strike out. I think I'm definitely on first base. We got to keep going. You got enough stuff to get my money back, make a little profit, and even some cool stuff we might take home. I do know I bought a very exciting unit this morning that I'm hoping is going to be a little more exciting than this. I teamed up with my good buddy Storage Stalker, so wait for us to see that. And I'm going to get to it. I'm going to load this up and uh, get on home. The units are wrap. I did forget. I did find this nice little silver brace necklace. So that's kind of cool too. Oh, quick little teaser here at the end. This is something. Do something. This is something I do very often. If you guys enjoy like what's sold on eBay, tips for bolos, things of that nature. One thing you'll see it on is my members only video. You can become a member below 99 cents. There's a link in my description. And that's where we usually show these things. And here's an example. Like I'm packing this item up here. And if you remember the computer unit I bought for five grand, I started listing finally. I sold these 150 processors for 700 bucks. I had a 1400 or $1,300 buy it now. He went with 700. I just said, screw it. I've already been sitting on it and it's time to get rid of it. And if you remember, I bought the, pa the, the palette recently. I found all of these graphics cards and stuff inside of the one file cabinet drawer, believe it or not. This was $250 for that pile. And that put that entire unit into profit and paid for. And who usually you would throw away that type of stuff. So that's kind of cool. But once again, you can see those type of things, what I call bolo sales, et cetera, et cetera, on my members only video. And we do a very consistent members only video once a week minimum. So uh, check that if you would like to.